Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Air College of Engineering, Trichy. Uh, this is a lecture series on solving questions from the gate examination. And this lecture is for fluid mechanics and machines. We take few questions on the fluid mechanics and machines and solve in the topic laminar flow part 2. So, in the earlier lecture also, we solved a few problems for the laminar flow. This is lecture number 57. The laminar flow part 2, we solve few problems on the laminar flow. So, this question from 2017 gate question paper, consider a laminar flow at 0 incident over a flat plate. The shear stress at the wall is denoted by tau w, wall shear stress tau w, the axial position x1 and x2 on the plate are measured from the leading edge in the direction of the flow. x1 is the a particular distance from from the leading edge from the beginning of the plate x2 is just away from the x1 if x2 is greater than x1 then we have four options for the wall shear stress wall shear stress x1 is equal to x2 equal to 0 wall shear stress x1 is not equal to x2 is not equal to 0 wall shear stress x1 is greater than wall shear stress at x2 the fourth option, wall CSS at x1 is less than wall CSS at the x2. The correct answer is, the x1 is the position just near the beginning of the plate. The x2 is just away from the x2, x1. So, the wall CSS will decrease as the distance increases from the leading edge. So, the answer, it says like this, wall CSS at x1, which is nearer to the beginning, is greater than wall CSS at the x2, it is far away from the leading edge. We will see how in the next slide. So, wall CSS tau w is given by 1 by 2 C f x rho u infinity square. C f x is the, the friction coefficient. So, substituting for friction coefficient 1 by 2 0 0.332 divided by square root of rho u infinity mu into rho u infinity square. So, considering Accepting x, considering all the other values are constant, we simplify this equation, tau w is proportional to 1 by square root of x. So, as the x value increases, the wall CSS will decrease, that is the relation. So, if x2 is greater than x1, then tau w x1 is greater than tau w x2, that is the answer to the question. The next question from gate 2019 question paper. Water enters a circular pipe of length L equal to 5 meter and diameter D equal to 0 0.2 meter with Reynolds number equal to 500. The velocity profile at the inlet of the pipe is uniform while it is parabolic at the exit. The Reynolds number at the exit of the pipe is, e is dash. So, look at the problem. The Reynolds number equal to 500 for the flow through the pipeline of a particular uh, dimension. And the, it is it is confirmed that the velocity profile is parabolic at the exit. So for the the for laminar flow, the flow will be parabolic. So for laminar flow, there is no change in the Reynolds number. So the there is no change in the diameter of the pipe, and the Reynolds number at the inlet will be equal to at the exit. So the Reynolds number at the exit of the pipe is also equal to 500. Next question from gate 2019 question paper. The discharge is in meter cube per second for a laminar flow through a pipe of diameter T equal to 0 0.04 meter having center line velocity 1.5 meters per second is. We have four options here. So, we have to calculate the discharge for the given pipe and the center line velocity. So, the four options are 3 pi by 500, 3 pi by 2500, 3 pi by 5000, 3 pi by 10,000. These are all the answers. The correct answer is option 4. 3 pi by 10,000 meter cube per second is a discharge for the uh, diameter of 0 0.4, 0 0.04 meter and the center line velocity 1.5 meters per second. We will see how in the next slide. So, diameter of the pipe 0 0.04 meter which is 4 by 100 meter, center line velocity U max equal to 1.5 meters per second. The center line velocity is the maximum velocity in the pipeline. So, U max by U average equal to 2. So, U average equal to U max by 2 u average equal to u max by 2 which is 1.5 divided by 2 equal to 0 0.75 meters per second. 
Now Q equal to A into U average. So Q equal to pi by 4 D square. So D square equal to 4 by 100 square into U average equal to 75, which is 0.75, which is 0 0.75 divided by 100. So this expanding the term, it is pi into 4. So here denominator I have on 4 that is getting cancelled. So pi into 4 into 75 divided by 1000 square 10 power 4 into 100 equal to 10 power 6. So we have the answer here. Now 4 into 75 is 300. So 100 is two zeros are cancelled. So 3 pi divided by 10,000 is the answer. The discharge for the given condition is 3 pi by 10,000. The next question from gate 1994 question paper, the fluid is flowing with an average velocity V through a pipe of diameter D over a length of L. The head loss is given by FL V square by 2 GD. The friction factor F for the laminar flow in terms of Reynolds number is, we have the constant for the laminar flow, the friction factor equal to 64 by Reynolds number. So the answer is 64 by Reynolds number. Next question from gate 1996 question paper, the lab, for a laminar flow through a long pipe, the pressure drop per unit length increases, pressure drop increases in linear proportion to the cross-sectional area, in proportion to the diameter of the pipeline, in inverse proportion to the cross-sectional area, in inverse proportion to the square of the cross-sectional area. So you look at the derivation, pressure drop P1 minus P2 equal to 32 mu u bar, u bar is the average velocity, L length of the pipe divided by d square. So, 32 by actually by pressure drop per unit length, P1 minus P2 divided by L equal to 32 mu u bar divided by d square. So, this pressure drop per unit length is proportional to 1 by d square. So, the answer is 1 by d square, you, you convert it to area. So, 1 by A, inversely proportional to 1 by A. So, when the area increases, when the area cross-section area increases, the pressure drop will decrease. So, inverse proportion, the answer is option C, in inverse proportion to the cross-sectional area, option C is the correct answer. Next question from 2003 question paper, a syringe with a frictionless plunger contains water and has its, has at its end a 100 millimeter long needle of 1 millimeter diameter. The internal diameter of the syringe is 10 millimeter. Water density is 1000 kilogram per meter cube. The plunger is pushed at a 10, middle, 10 millimeter per second velocity and the water comes out with, as a jet. So the diagram is given here, 100 millimeter length needle. Diameter of the syringe is 10 millimeter. The diameter of the needle is 1 millimeter. So here we have velocity 10 millimeter per second. Assuming ideal flow, the force F in Newton required to on the plunger to push out the water is, we have four options here. So the correct answer is 0 0.04 Newton. So we'll see how in the next slide. So again, the arrangement, diameter of the plunger is 0 0.01 meter, area of the plunger calculating pi by 4 d square, 7.85 10 power minus 5 meter square, velocity of the plunger is 0 0.01 meters per second, and diameter of the needle is 0 0.001 meter. So, velocity of the needle, velocity in the needle. So, you take the uh, continuity equation A1 V1 equal to A2 V2. So, A1 V1 by A2 equal to D1 square V1 by D2. So, calculating 1 meters per second. So, the answer is 1 meters per second. And applying the Bernoulli's equation, using the Bernoulli's equation, P1 by W plus V1 square by 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 by, P2 by W plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus HL. So, the head loss equal to 0, P2 equal to 0, Z1 equal to Z2, P2 equal to 0 because the water is ejected in the atmosphere. So, P1 by rho G equal to V1 square by 2G minus V2 square by, by 2G minus V1 square by 2G. So, this is rho by 2 into V1 square minus v, V2 square minus V1 square. So, rho is 1000 divided by 2 into 1 square minus 0 0.01 square equal to 499.95 newtons per meter square. So, the force on the plunger equal to pressure into the area. So, 499.95 into 7.8 10 power minus 5 equal to 0 0.039, which is 0 0.04 newton. That is the answer for the question. The next question, it is continuation of the previous uh, uh, question for the same data. 
Neglect the loss in the cylinder. Assume fully developed laminar viscous flow throughout the needle. The Darcy friction factor is 64 by Reynolds number, where RE is the Reynolds number. Given that the viscosity of the water is 0 0.001 kilogram per meter squared, the force F in the Newton required in the plunger. What is the force required in the plunger? So, there are four options here. The correct answer is 0 0.30 Newton. So, we will see how in the next slide. Again, the same arrangement here. Reynolds number for the water in the needle, rho V2 D2 by mu. So, 1000 into 1 into 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.001 equal to 1000. The flow is laminar because the Reynolds number is less than 2300 for the flow through the pipeline. So, Darcy friction factor is 64 by Reynolds number, 64 by 1000 equal to 0 0.064. So, head loss due to friction, HF equal to FL V square by 2G D2. So, 0 0.064 into 0 0.1 into 1 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.001 equal to 0 0.3262 meter. So, this is the answer, 0 0.3260 meter. Then again, applying the Bernoulli's equation, P1 by W plus P V1 square by 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 by W plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus HCL, head loss due to friction. So, Z1 equal to Z2 and P2 equal to 0. So, P1 by rho G uh, equal to V2 square by 2G minus V1 square by 2G plus HL. So, rho by 2 into V2 square minus V1 square plus rho G HL. So, 1000 divided by 2 into 1 square minus 0 0.01 square plus 1000 into 9.81 into 0 0.3260 equal to 3700 meters per meter square. Now, the force on the plunger F equal to P1 into A which is 3700 into 7.85 in 10 to the power minus 5 equal to 0 0.3 Newton. That is the answer to the question. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering. Uh, if you if you want to learn the subject, you can refer to it. I have a YouTube channel. Subscribe the channel and listen to the video lectures for your better understanding of the subject. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments. Uh, if you have any questions, you can write to my mail ID or WhatsApp number. So, we'll, I will answer to your question. We will meet again in another video lecture in solving problems from the gate question. Until then, bye.